The thinking was that it would be he was naming Cal Carly Fiorina as his running mate. Our NBC cameras exclusively captured Fiorina arriving, entering a building in Indianapolis. You see the footage right there. Our Hallie Jackson tried to get Ted Cruz to confirm it, as she always does. Um, he dodged that question from you, Hallie, but I think we have Hallie Jackson on the phone right now. But now we are confirming that, in fact, this is going to happen at 4 o'clock. And, and it seems interesting that he would announce a running mate the day after having lost of course, these five primary elections. Right, Erica. So a high-level source familiar with these discussions, familiar with today's announcement, is confirming that it will be Furina to be rolled out as part of a ticket with Ted Cruz. That's going to be the announcement today here in Indianapolis. Uh, I can tell you, yeah, it, it's, the timing is interesting. The timing has raised some eyebrows within Republican circles. Uh, but this is an opportunity, potentially, for Cruz to change the conversation away from Donald Trump's dominant win. You might ask about the last time that this happened. A running mate was announced so relatively early mm -hmm. before uh, somebody has locked up the Republican nomination. The last time it happened was, or I guess one of the more famous times it happened, was 1976 with Ronald Reagan when the campaign sort of made that pick of focus of their opening rules fight at a contested convention then, as my colleague Ari Melber is reporting. So, uh, so there's some context here. There's some precedent here. Fiorina has been out on the campaign trail with Cruz quite a bit. She's taken on the role of kind of a tap dog for him. You've seen it with her as she goes after both Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. You saw that from her during her unsuccessful uh, primary fight herself, her candidacy that ended when she obviously dropped out uh, last year, late last year. For Fiorina, though, she does have some vulnerabilities that now opens up essentially Cruz and his campaign. Number one, her business record, those layoffs at HP dogged her during her campaign and are likely to do so again. Uh, number two, the fact that she was unsuccessful, I wouldn't be surprised to hear Donald Trump take aim at her for that. And then number three, the timing of this, this is what some operatives have said to me is potentially be seen as a Hail Mary at mm -hmm. this point. Now that said, Fiorina has been instrumental in Cruz's delegate hunting, Erica, we know that Cruz and Fiorina will be headed to California this weekend to the convention there in order to try and make sure they lock down delegates if this does go to a contested convention. And as you know, now that Cruz has been mathematically eliminated from locking up the nomination outright, a contested convention is his only hope. He's got to be able to turn around delegates on a potential second ballot in order to get the nomination. Fiorina has been helping him on that and will continue to help him on that. It's interesting when you look at where they're headed, California, right? Optics for this apparent new ticket that's being rolled out this week. And California, if Cruz wins in Indiana, will be the next and last real battleground state. That is where Trump might be able to lock up the nomination. That is where Cruz might be able to stop him. 172 delegates at stake in California. But Cruz has to get through Indiana first. Uh, and that may be why you're seeing him with the timing that he has here today with this announcement with Fiorina. It's also fascinating, Hallie, because we started out this week talking about this quote unquote alliance that the Cruz campaign and the Kasich campaign had worked out, uh, not with the candidates, but amongst the campaigns over the weekend, which did not really seem to play the way they wanted it to. And one of the early questions on Monday, as we were all trying to figure out how this deal would actually work, was whether or not perhaps there was some talk between Cruz and Kasich of the two of them teaming up on a ticket. All of this, of course, puts that to rest, in addition to the fact that that deal seemed to fall through. And John Kasich, of course, effectively out of the picture after he said he would drop out of Indiana. And now Ted Cruz really taking back the headlines. Yeah, trying to at least, especially with Donald Trump giving that foreign policy speech today in Washington and dominating a lot of the political spotlight. When you talk about the possibility of Kasich or Cruz on a ticket together, there had been some speculation about that. But Kasich and his team had said all along that they had been uninterested in that, that they were headed to a contested convention, that they wanted to make sure that Kasich could compete at a contested convention. And Cruz and his campaign had no intention, of course, of becoming Kasich's vice president just given where Cruz has been in the delegate count. He's obviously above John Case significantly mm -hmm. and looking to catch up with Donald Trump, although it looks like uh, that is, is a question mark as to how that plays out over the next maybe two months until June 7th. So you, you look at this political week, Erica, we've, we've been through a lot this week and we're going to be through a lot through the next week too. Indiana primary is happening on Tuesday. After that, you've got Nebraska. That is a place where the Cruz campaign hopes to be successful. And then it's the turn to the West, which Cruz calls favorable territory for him, much more favorable than these eastern and mid-Atlantic states that Donald Trump dominated in, at least in his campaign view. Montana, South Dakota, those are June 7th states they're looking to. Uh, New Mexico, obviously, Cruz will likely not campaign there if that 
that alliance or that so-called pact with John Kasich holds up. And then, you know, all the marbles. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.